running because he will run. Okay, Bark Nation, checking in again. Just because I'm sure that it'll spike a little controversy. That last video with my You're son the there in the beginning. No, I keep much younger in that last video. But dogs and children, should they be together? Especially aggressive dogs, which the first two dogs you saw there are actually behavior modifications, both uh, the pit bull and the white bulldog there. This small Boston Terrier, he's a frequent flyer. He's one of my son's favorites. And then we've got my shepherds. We got a big bully uh, named Ernesto. Um, and then I'm also a vet technician. So when I take care of animals, sometimes he comes to work and checks in and he likes to try and help out. <laughs> But honestly, guys, dogs and children, is it a safe thing? Is it something that should be happening? And my opinion personally is, is if you own a dog, especially previous to having a child, then it's the inevitable. So it's your job to properly train, socialize, and uh, manage the interactions between the child and the dog. And you have to really have a, a trust with uh, certain dogs, and you have to know that they've already had that exposure or pressure. You cannot expect to just throw a brand new baby at a brand a dog who's never seen a baby, I should say, and have a perfect reaction. There are going to be some slight struggles, but again, properly socialized dogs, dogs who know how to play, dogs who know how to, um, you know, not be possessive because items are often outside of redirected energy but we'll talk about that in a second but items items are often the reason that conflict happened between uh children and dogs so i don't care if it's you know the two or three year old walking around with a chicken nugget uh something dropped on the floor um one of the toys that they thought was theirs is really the kids vice versa nonetheless items are a big reason why i've seen bites play out with dogs and children other than that it is definitely redirected energy. You've got the dog, the pit bull, the boxer, the doberman staring out of the window at the squirrel that it wants to get so bad. And here comes wobbling over, a freshly walking one or two or three year old, and they just grab the dog by the butt or the tail. And the same energy that they wanted to give to that squirrel or the mailman or whomever, the dog walking by on its routine walk, just got redirected to the child. So, again, proper handling, management, it's a possibility.